Today I'll teach you how to create a particle dissolve effect on a logo in Adobe After Effects. So I'm here in my After Effects where I prepared a clip as well as a logo, which we will be creating the particle dissolve effect on. And first and foremost, what we want to do is come into a logo here, right click and then pre-compose it. And let's just call it something else. Let's call it logo. And you will see it appear over here in your project. You want to come into your logo here, composition settings, and just make sure that it's a 1920 by 1080. Right, what next? I think that this logo is a little bit too big, so I'm just gonna come into the composition here and just scale it down to 50%, maybe I think that's fine. So now we have this thing going on here. First thing I wanna do is duplicate our logo composition here. Just click it, Control C, Control V. I'm gonna search for an effect called CC Particle Systems 2. It is this one here. And apply that to the topmost layer. And in here, this effect has a bunch of things you can play around with, but I will try to make it easy and go through it slowly. So I'm gonna put the birth rate to 10. I'm gonna put the longevity to 1.5, and I'm gonna come into the producer, and I wanna change the radius X to 0.5, the radius Y to 24. It's time to come into physics. Let's change the animation to direction, the velocity to 0.3 to make it slower. Let's change the gravity to negative 0.1. That will make it go up. Let's change the direction to, yeah, let's leave that at one. And I think that's fine. Let's come into the particle here. And let's change the particle to faded sphere. I'm gonna change the birth color to this dark color of the After Effects logo and the death color to this color behind it of the, the letters in the logo. And I am going to click on this one, Source Alpha Inheritance. This means that it will basically only show, but it's above the logo. So as you can see here, if I change the position, it will then start to go away. That's pretty awesome. So now it is time to animate. I'm going to go to where I want the animation to start. I think I want to have it start here at one second. I am going to go to somewhere around here, right where it stops being visible. Something like that. Enable keyframes on position. Go forward to where you want the animation to stop and just move on the X axis. So I think something like this will do. Yeah, this should be fine. All right, we're almost done. Next up, I'm gonna search for a pick called Linear Y. This one here on the transition, apply that to our clip underneath. And at this point, I wanna select both of my clips and just press U to see all keyframes. And I kind of wanna match up the linear wipe here to like kind of what we're seeing here. So I think I want to have it go from 32 to let's see, it's a little bit too much, like 66. Let's put the feather to 25 just to get rid of some of these like harsh edges. Let's take a look. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. Please make sure to like and comment on this video and also consider dropping a subscribe if you learned something new. But anyways, take care guys.